Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be running through exactly how to shoot a time-lapse on your Sony a7C II. Now, even though Sony has made this process extremely seamless on this camera, I understand that on your first time through, it is nice to just make sure that you're doing it correctly. So without further ado, I'm gonna get this set up so that you can watch my screen and watch how I set up a time-lapse. And then we'll just jump into taking a time-lapse. So yeah, let's do it. When I was walking up here, some guy asked me if I shot on Nikon because I guess there was a lens cap or something and he wanted to just see if it was mine. And I actually got a little bit offended. Like, do I look like I shoot on Nikon? I hope not. All right, so once you get your camera up, uh, possibly framed, I'm gonna reframe this a little bit. It's not exactly how I want it. But all you're gonna do is there's a little camera icon and then a video icon and then it says S and Q up top here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna flip that switch over to S and Q and that's gonna prompt this screen to pop up. And basically it's gonna ask you if you wanna shoot in S and Q motion, which is basically shooting slow motion, or if you wanna shoot in time-lapse mode. Now time-lapse mode is clearly what we want based on the title of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and push okay on that. And then it's gonna take you out, but we haven't set up settings. So we need to set those up before we start shooting. So I'm gonna go up here to menu. You're gonna start your memory menu on this star screen, but we're gonna scroll all the way down to this camera and then this image quality recording. And we're just gonna jump down here to time-lapse settings. Now from here, we can make a lot of different decisions. So here we can decide what frame rate we want our time-lapse recorded in. For example, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second. So I generally try and keep this number at 30 because in post when I'm editing, usually the timelines that I'm editing in are 30 frames per second timelines. So I try to just keep it, you know, the same across the board, at least for time lapses. This next number is gonna be your shooting interval. So this is gonna be how long in between photos. Uh, you can go all the way up to five seconds on this camera. And basically what that means is 30 frames is gonna be one second on your timeline and it's gonna take a photo every five seconds. So that means if you were to shoot a five second movie recording, the time it would take to shoot that time lapse is gonna be 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Right now, because the clouds are moving kind of fast, you kind of can't see them right now, but I'm gonna just go with two seconds. But again, this really depends on the situation that you're shooting in. And all I'm gonna do is press okay. The next thing we're gonna change is the record settings. You wanna make sure you're at 140M 422 10-bit. This is gonna give you the best quality time-lapse, where if you're at 100M 420 8-bit, that's only gonna be an 8-bit time-lapse, where 10-bit is gonna give you a profile that is easier to color grade. There's gonna be more metadata. It's gonna give you larger file sizes, but the quality overall is going to be a lot better. And then something that we're gonna ignore because I'm shooting during the daytime and the ambient light isn't changing that much, I'm just gonna keep my video light setting off. And all we're gonna do from here is just jump out of this and jump back to our main screen. And then we're gonna start shooting our time lapse. So I'm gonna frame this all up, get it nice and framed in on something cool. And then I'm just gonna shoot a time lapse and I'm gonna show you the result after that. And then one thing that I actually just learned is that you don't actually push down the shutter button. You actually have to push down the record button in order to start your time lapse. So keep that in mind. All right, so it's been a little bit over 20 minutes now. It's recorded about 22 seconds worth of time lapse. Um, again, this is just gonna vary depending on your shooting interval. So if I would have set it to three seconds uh, per shot, it would have you know, taken quite a bit off of that 22 second time lapse. It would actually be only about like a 17 to 18 second time lapse right now. So, you know, you just have to keep that in mind when you're setting up your actual like settings for this. Um, but without further ado, let's check out the time lapse um, and then I will meet you guys back in the office.
and that's going to pretty much be it. If you want to play around with these settings a little bit more and change some of your parameters, uh, you can get some different looking time lapses that way. But for the most part, a time lapse is kind of a time lapse, and at the end of the day, it's going to look like a time lapse. So, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, that's going to be it for me for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this process or if there's anything else that I didn't mention that you want me to, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I try to respond to all the questions that I get down there. So anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.